say I've, I've got this very exciting book that's just opened up worlds for me. I um, got it for Christmas from Cherry. Um, it's very exciting. It's called The Word Museum. Museum? Museum? Museum! Ah, I can't say museum. Museum. God. Anyway, it's got some awesome uh, old-timey words. And uh, and I although I know you guys, or some of you, think that I was born, raised, and died in 1920, I'm not that old-timey. Well, it's got great words that I can add into my uh, lexicon, if you will, such as rattle bladder, which is a bladder filled with peas or something like that to uh, to make a noise like a rattle to scare away birds. Oh. Crawbacking, which is a stomach ache. Oh, I've got such a crawbacking. Apparently, there was such a phrase as urinal pulse, which was a critical pulse that denoted the, um, it, it fancied to denote, I should say, because that's how they word it in air, fancied to denote the approaching evacuation of urine. And these are Winka peeps. And fairy whisk, which means a great bustle or haste. Such as, sorry old chap, I can't stop now, I'm in a fairy whisk. Cruddle, which is to thicken the seminal substance in the womb till it be formed into flesh and bones, as milk is thickened in order to make cheese. So, like, you stir up the womb to make a cheese baby, I believe is what that means. And there's Ziff, this baby right here is a Ziff. Wunkers, not wonkers, wunkers as another interjection, this one meaning more like wonderment and surprise. Oh, Wookers! And I always like the chance to bring back the word wench. Um, right here we have wonder wench, which is, which is a uh, Yorkshire word, which means sweetheart. Okay, this is one that I don't think I'm going to use as a word in my regular everyday speech. It's whores hunting. When a wife left her husband to live with another man, the villagers would assemble outside the guilty couple's house with a horse's head stuck in a pole and would pull the jaw down by the means of a string tied through the animal's lower lip. So, rah, rah, rah. There's no other explanation as to why they would do this, I suppose, to freak out the, the guilty couple, as they put it. Um, I don't know what they would do with the horse, like if they would mine, they would, you know, like... Oh, you people are bad for having the sex, or something like that. I don't know, it doesn't really say here, but I can only assume. And unky means to be lonesome. Just like me, since Cherry got that promotion, she's always at work. Well, she says she's always at work. Okay, because this is the second time this attire has uh, appeared in a video of mine, I just want to explain what it is. A friend of Cherry's came over to visit us years ago when we were living down in Hollywood. And, um, and I guess with the Japanese, um, they tend to give gifts when they stay with somebody. They bring something and, <clears throat> and give them a gift. So this was what she gave me, a nice little robe. And so I've had it since 2001, 2002 maybe. And it's held up quite nicely. And anyway, that's why, um, well that's not why I'm wearing it, but I just took a shower. And uh, so unfortunately you guys have to see me half naked. Or is it unfortunate? I don't know, you tell me. Don't tell me, actually, don't, I don't want to know. Definitely don't tell me.